KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Good morning, this is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. I'm Scott Martin. We'll have an increased risk of scattered showers and storms for today and Thursday due to a cold front that will stall over the northern parts of the area. Then we return to a standard summertime pattern for the weekend. More on that in just a moment. At 547 this morning, much of central Alabama is dry at this point, but we do see some showers on the radar down in the southeastern parts of the area. Wetumpka, Blue Ridge, Tuskegee, and Lochapoca were receiving some light showers, and these are slowly drifting to the east. There are some showers across the northern parts of Pike County as well. If these hold together, Troy, Goshen, Banks, and Brundage will get some light rain within the next hour or two. Temperatures were in the mid-60s to the lower 70s across the area. Birmingham was at 72 degrees, along with Tuscaloosa and Auburn. Jasper was at 66 degrees, which is the cool spot. Montgomery was the warm spot at 73 degrees. No watches or advisories are in effect across central Alabama this morning. While showers and thunderstorms will pop up this afternoon, no organized severe storms are expected throughout the day. However, one or two of these storms could become briefly strong with gusty winds. Now to the forecast. The cold front will make it into central Alabama and will stall out near the I-59-20 corridor. Along and ahead of the front is where we could see the highest rain chances for today. We'll have a chance of isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours, but I can't rule out a few forming before the end of the morning hours. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to the mid 90s. Rain chances will range from 20% to 50% during the day. We get back into a hot and humid weather pattern across central Alabama with the standard risk of a few isolated afternoon showers and thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. While clouds will build during the main heating of the day and convected showers form, the mornings will start with mainly clear skies. Highs on each day will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Rain chances will be around 20 to 50% for, for the most part on both days. Not much change at this point for Saturday and Sunday as we'll continue with the standard summertime forecast. Hot and humid with a risk of a few isolated to scattered mainly afternoon showers and storms on each day. Mornings will start with a good bit of sunshine with clouds building during the main heating of the day. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Rain chances will be around 30 to 40 percent on both days. It's the wash and repeat forecast for the start of next week as we'll continue with hot and humid conditions along with the risk of a few isolated to scattered mainly afternoon showers and thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday. Mornings will start off with a good bit of sunshine with clouds building during the main heating of the day. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Rain chances will be a little higher on Monday in the 30 to 50 percent range, but drops back to 20 to 30 percent for Tuesday. Now taking a look at the tropics, we see that there is a disorganized tropical wave that continues to bring showers and thunderstorms to the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola. It will begin to curve to the northwest at 10 miles per hour and head toward the eastern coast of Florida and the Bahamas over the next few days. Some development could occur once it reaches there, but the National Hurricane Center is only giving it a 10% chance of it developing into a depression within the next five days. And then over the eastern Atlantic, we have a little higher risk of development for the wave that is currently moving westward around 15 miles per hour across the eastern Atlantic Ocean. Conditions are not favorable at this point but it will move into better conditions by the end of the week and weekend where we could see a depression form well east of the Lesser Antilles. At this point, the National Hurricane Center is giving it a 40% chance of developing into a depression within the next five days. That is all for the Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have updates on the blog throughout the day. We are still on a one-a-day video schedule as James Spann is on vacation this week. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin signing off for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.